Meanwhile, the Supreme Court in Colorado ruled that former President Donald Trump cannot be on that state's primary ballot. The court issued that ruling just a few hours ago. ABC's Mola Lenghi is in Denver and explains how the court came to this decision. In a first of its kind ruling, the Colorado Supreme Court determining that former President Donald Trump is ineligible to be on Colorado's Republican primary ballot next year because of his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. The court accepted the argument that Trump engaged in insurrection in violation of the 14th Amendment. Lawsuits like this have come before courts in seven states. This is the first time that Trump has been deemed ineligible for office, but this, of course, will very unlikely be the last word as the Trump campaign calling the decision, quote, deeply undemocratic adding that they will swiftly appeal this ruling to the United States Supreme Court. Mola Lange, ABC News, Denver. Other Republican candidates are reacting to this news tonight. Vivek Ramasamy had this to say when speaking to reporters in Iowa within the last few hours. I think that that strikes me as the wrong decision and it's appalling for the future of our country. We're not a country where we want the federal police state to decide who is or isn't running, and we don't want it to be decided by a small group of people behind the back of palace walls. It should be decided by the people of this country. And we want to help you get ready for the Iowa caucuses. We have everything you need to know for that night on WQAD.com. You can also find our continuing caucus coverage on the News 8 app and on our YouTube page.